All right, guys, welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Origins. Kind of doing some side quest free roam stuff right now. This is still kind of a continuation of the last video. Thank you guys for all the support on that first video. Um, this will be three videos total. And it looks like, oh, this is a nice looking area. Look at this. Wait, is that, is that blood in the water over there on the left? What is going, oh, you know what? I think I saw some footage a while back. So it's kind of like where, yeah, see? Oh, that's, uh, that's gonna be bad. But, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for all the support. I'm really looking forward to playing this game when it does come out. I think, uh, oh, he's about to investigate. Nice. Oh, snap! Man, this is a fight to the finish. Look at the blood being, like, poured out right there. You would not survive that, ever. Ah, so that's what that is. Like a bird lands in the water and it, it eats it, so that's where that's coming from. I was wondering, like, what is going on, you know? So I think it's kind of, from this point forward, it's just going to be kind of like side quests. This is just more of the Gamescon footage. That was actually kind of nice. And you get, okay, so you get the, the hard love leather. That's, that's exactly like Far Cry. Interesting. Well, that was really nice how they did the under... Oh, wow. He took that, too. So you collect a bunch of those. I guess it's how you craft and level up different parts of your inventory to either carry more of certain types of weapons or ammo, health. I have no idea how they really get it set up, but uh, right now, I just think the way they have this game set up, the setting is what I am just... I think I said a lot in the first video. Like, the setting is so nice. It's something different to kind of explore, you know? Wait, how did that get up there? Did you see that? They're just like hanging out everywhere. The funny thing is, it's like, this is the only way I could get this footage. So, even though it's not me playing, it's like, I get to kind of experience it with you guys for the first time, even though, oh, well, this guy's trying to go on up. I didn't think you could climb that. Like, I remember it had to kind of be something it looked like you could grab onto, but it looked like you just kind of scaled the building. I'll check the view out. Check it out, man. So they have... Oh, you look at all like the, the pyramids in the background. Can you go to those? I know it's kind of a closed-off area where they don't want you to go too far uh, for the Gamescon footage or whatever. So I think it's kind of like... This is more like a demo. But, I mean, the game looks like it's... it's I wouldn't say finished, but, man, it, they did a great job with whatever they've done so far. I can't really see where they would need to improve it. <laughs> you know, so... I do love how they kind of brought in some of the Far Cry elements where you have to craft different things. Uh oh, we're about to get the, the horse. Nice. I actually read a comment in the first video that they said they they should be camels and horses. But I, I think there's both. We just haven't seen the other ones. Can you get into a fight? And just start... What happened there? Ah... So I guess if you go into like a restricted area or I guess take somebody out the game The whole town will try to attack you or something. I don't really know how it really works Like they're trampling people right now So you want to take them out Oh snap That was actually kind of sick I would have definitely gotten off the horse though because that seems like just, just over, over, oh, that's so sick. Hey, I'm telling you, that one mission in 400, I don't know if you guys remember it, but I don't know which one it was for, the Viking or the Knight. I know it wasn't the Samurai, but you chased the guy on the horse. I bet this guy's about to die. Yeah, he didn't get away in time. Hey, at least we get to see the, uh, you know, the death screen or whatever. See if it's kind of like the old school where it shows, like, the digital stuff. Oh, yeah, it is. Nice. So, yeah, I, I think if you guys remember that mission, I bet you they kind of implemented elements of For Honor into the game. But we just can't really, uh, we can't really see the full spectrum of it yet. But, all right, that's kind of cool how you just kind of sink back in. Call the horse one more time. That, that instant. I oh, check the map out, too. 
What did that say? Children of the streets? I guess it's a side mission we're going to. Another game that I... I feel like the setting for this... I can't really compare it to anything else, but for some reason I do think of another game that I haven't played in forever. Uh, the Witcher 3, one of the longest games I've ever played. I'm about to say, we're about to get into another fight. Hey, at least the combat when you get close like this, I like that. You can kind of dodge everything. He actually said, I'm not going to use the horse anymore, it looks like. So you get some loot, you get some... Uh, I guess some experience. Now, it actually gives you incentive to level up. Thief! Thief! Magi! Catch that little foot for nothing! Hurry! The farther you run, the worse it will go between us! Ah, so you're chasing him down. Nice. Now I'm about to get, like, chased by these other guys while I'm chasing them. Yeah, they're not gonna get up there with a the horse. They need to just take a step back and just. Think about it. What do you bring us today, Gutter Snipe? Oh, that's so sick. I got a warrior boat too. Nice. There's a blue one. It's not rare. I think that's just like common. Yeah, I, I'm I'm digging the combat. Uh, it's it's definitely like the For Honor vibe. You know what? It would actually be easy for them to implement. Oh, you know what? I just thought about it. If they wanted to do like cross game type stuff, they could easily add this character into For Honor as a, like a DLC character or something. Or take characters from those games and put them in here. I don't know how they want to do it. Did you bring me here to get rid of these bandits? Sure did. I'm extremely smart. Everyone says so. How did a smart boy like you get tricked into working for bandits? I don't work for them. This mean old lady locked up a bunch of us kids. She makes us steal for her. Locked up? Yeah. My sister was going to save us. And she said to meet her in the shipyard by the river. But she never came. Will you look for her? I'll steal you an apple. <laughs> hey, you don't need to buy my help. It is yours for free. What is your sister's name? Kawit. And mine's Ifri. If you find Kawit, tell her I'm mad at her. Children of the streets are to hold the track. Alright, reach the Memphis shipyard. Last scene over there. Okay. So this is kind of cool, man. We get to uh, see more of the air. We're going to go to like an actual shipyard, though. That's kind of cool. The main character seems really like badass in this as well. Our entered investigation area. So just like the first video, we're gonna kind of investigate everything. That ship will not sail anytime soon. <gasps> so you can use that to find hidden objects. That's kind of cool. Up when they caught fire. Traces of oil. Hmm. So you can see the progress bar. It looks like they got a long way to go. I don't know how it's set up, really. But it feels like Batman, you know? Oil cellar. You may have seen Kawit. There's the mast from the band ship. Colorful sail. Unusual. Uh-oh. So there's like maybe three more things we get. Or maybe actually that's halfway, so probably two more things. They we can talk to that person caged. and get one, it looks like. There's a little cage right there, so that's three-fourths, and I guess talking to them might be the last thing. How did I spot that before them? I have break no my, idea. Keep your distance. He made I'll the break game. your face. Easy now. Did you see a young girl around the shipyard yesterday? I see lots of girls. Most not worth looking at twice. They would likely say the same of you. If it is information you want, you have just tripled its price. I'd rather throw my coin pouch in the river. There must be another way to make him talk. Hmm. Stop, you brute! I, I will talk! 
Oh, okay, you gotta shake him up a little bit. Nice. By the limbs of Osiris, you are a cruel man. What happened with the girl? I looked at her twice. The second time, she was stealing my biggest jar of oil. She vanished like a demon in daylight. When I came back, the ruffians were destroying my stock. May the lot of you sink to the bottom of the Nile. I think I understand what happened here. Gawit stole an oil jar from that oath of a merchant and hid until nightfall. Under cover of darkness, she spread oil on the ship and set it aflame. The blaze spread to the whole vessel. While the ship burned, Gawit freed the children held on the docks, but the bandits must have caught her. Whoever owns this ship was responsible for the kidnappings. Alright, their ship has a colorful and distinctive cell. Isn't it kind of nice though? Like, it actually gives you incentive to want to do side quests. Like, in the other Assassin's Creed games, I honestly didn't see much point, really. I think you could get ability points for doing different things, but it wasn't the same as, like, leveling up, so you wouldn't get stronger. But you might get loot from this, and that's even uh, another option that's, like, something we haven't seen before. Uh-oh. About to get that sky view in a minute. Oh, we're taking back to four right now. Man, if you can steer a ship, it's going to be like that Skull and Bones game they get coming out. I think that's a Ubisoft game as well, if I'm not mistaken. All right, there's the captain. Ah, target located. Nice. They're going to harass him. Oh, I, thought the, I thought he was about to do it. See how this guy tackles the area. Probably much better than I would go in. Uh, I was going to say guns blazing, but more like uh, blazing arrows. I don't know what you want to call that, really. <laughs> Here it goes. Is he going to make the shot? Oh, nice. 249 damage. That really didn't do much. You can. I, I, I guess it's just based on the level you are versus them. 871. I guess headshots are really worth it. Oh, here we go. Man, the combat just seems really like fluid. I don't know. If, I don't know what the last Assassin's Creed game was. Oh, look at that! That execution was so sick. I do feel like this might be up there with four is my favorite. And I haven't even played it yet. Like, I'm just from looking at it, I can already tell. I'll just go ahead and take down the captain, please. So it seems like headshots definitely do a lot of damage, but it's uh, we're close range. I guess it's just persistence is key. Nice. I need to talk to that child. Now, just like earlier, whenever you get to a brand new location, there's one captain, and it seems like there is one treasure you can loot, which I'm guessing this might be it. Yep, that was it. Loot treasure. Interesting. But yeah, I guess after we get here, um, I'll probably stop the video, and I'll continue with the last part uh, pretty soon. So much love to all of you and thank you so much for all the support. If you want the other one quickly, just let me know. Your brother sent me here. Where is Kawit? They took her and everyone else to a house in the city. Some rich lady named Gaia owns it. It's by the temple of Hafo. Will you save my family? By the mother goddess, I will. 